Hi, welcome to the Jaffa programming tutorial. Um, the last tutorial we looked at depaint and how to stop the, the, the flickering. We didn't go into double buffing but we'll do that in the future. Um, and so what I'm going to show you in this tutorial before we do animation because we're going to make this animation character move across the screen. Um, what we're going to do is, is I'm going to show you how to take an image and turn it upside down. Um, and the the first in the other direction, and so how you do that is it's to do with the image constructor. If I come down, right, that's the paint we put in the the class. Um, so we created two different classes, and uh, in the tutorial, last tutorial, I, uh, I put the both classes code um, on the description. I'll do the same with this one, and. Um, what you can do is you can see if you can run it as one file or you can run it as two files that you see here. Um, if you do it this way it looks a lot neater and easy to, easier to follow because if you want to go to frame you just click this one. If you want to go and see the graphics you go to this one. And so so to the fair set image I'll, I'll run the program again. So the program, that yellow bit there is a little bit from the character above this one and that's a little bit of the character below and so to reverse it this is x1 here this x1 and this is x2 now x1 is 100 here and x2 is 200 right? but if x2 was 200 then that would be over here and if x1 was 100 then the image would be copied into this area the opposite way around. It wouldn't be facing that way to the right, it would be facing this way to the left. And it's the same for the top and the bottom. This here is Y1 and this here is Y2. Now if Y if Y1 is is say like two hundred oh well, at the moment Y1 is two hundred and Y2 is one hundred. Is that right? Yeah, Y2 is 200 and Y1 is 100. We swap them around. So Y1 was 200 and Y2 was 100. It will be upside down and that's what I'm going to show you. And so what we've got is X1 and Y1. X2 and Y2. And we've got them up here. And so if we make X1 200 instead of 100 and X2 100 instead of 200 you're going to see it's going to be facing the opposite direction yet yeah, it's the same image so if we run the program now you can see it's actually facing that way it's just the same image but we've actually we've actually turned the image around so that's just a good thing about the Java um, image um, you can actually play about with them to make it narrower, bigger, fatter um, upside down, the opposite way around so you can do a lot more with animation and so that means you could have a, this little man run across the screen and when you go the other direction you can have the little man run that way across the screen and it's just the one picture. Right now I'm going to actually get him to face um, upside down and to do that we would we would change the Y so Y2 would become 200 instead of 100 and Y, Y1, would, that was Y1 sorry and Y2 would, instead of 200 become 100 so if we save the program and run it, you'll see it's upside down. Yeah, it's just the one image, so that's very useful. And so, so that's what I wanted to show you in this tutorial. The next tutorial, we're going to actually move across the animation, move from across the screen. And so, I hope that's been of some use. And again, thank you for your time.